Welcome to crack it. Why do we need a transactional annotation and what are the best practices? Mainly this a transactional annotation are used for the database transactions. So if I do any database transaction, it should be either completed successfully or rolled back in case of failure. In our example, in my save employee details method, I have two methods save employee and save employee details with this a transactional annotation. If for some reason save employee address is failed after saving the employee, even this will get rolled back. That is the purpose of using this a transactional annotation. So what are the best practices to use this at transactional annotation it should be used always with the public methods and not on the private methods if you use it in the private methods it will not work because spring internally uses proxies and in there no private or protected methods are allowed so next is like avoid uh, self you know invocation so we should not uh, call use this at transactional method within the same class for example if you see i'm calling the save employee method and that save employee method has a transactional annotation in this case it will not work so calling a transactional annotation within the same class it will not invoke the transaction behavior so we should move this method to another bean or the service so next is we should not use this a transactional annotation on the read only methods if for some reason we have to use it then we have to use it with read only equal to true attribute.